To file a patent application in the US, you don't need a working prototype, but you need more than just an idea. Essentially, you need to be able to explain your invention in enough words and drawings so that someone in the field can make it. You can't get a patent if your invention has been on sale for over a year, has been in public use or known to others for over a year, or if it has been described in a publication. And that's including the internet. Step one, do a search. There are almost 10 million issued patents in the United States alone, and currently over half a million patent applications filed each year. Even if you have not seen your idea on the market on Amazon or through a quick Google search, it doesn't mean that there isn't a patent for it. You have to do a thorough search to see what's out there and whether your idea is patentable. Step two, decide whether your invention is worth patenting. If your search results came back promising, Finding an invention is still a business decision. Ideally, you can do some market research and test the market before you invest a lot of time and money on your invention. However, you want to have some sort of protection before putting your product on the market. If you're not sure whether a product will be successful, maybe look into filing a provisional patent application and test your product during that year. More on that on a separate video. Step three, choose the right type of application. Are you trying to protect the functionality of your product? If you are, then you need a utility patent. Maybe you're trying to protect the unique look, feel, and appearance of your product, in which case you will need to file for a design patent. You could even file for both on the same product and get an even broader protection. If you're not sure whether a product will be successful, maybe look into filing a provisional patent application and test your product during that year. Step four waiting for a decision from the USPTO. Essentially, you have to wait, and then wait, and wait some more before you get your first communication from the USPTO, also known as an office action, typically a rejection for utility patent. At that point, you can either make arguments as to why you disagree with the USPTO examiner, or you can change your claims to overcome the rejections, or maybe do both. But as soon as you file for a patent application, you can start using the term patent pending on your invention. If your patent is granted, congratulations, you need to strategize on how to enforce and monetize your invention. If it's not granted, you can either continue the examination process or appeal their decision.